So guys, for the first method, you're gonna head over to search and type in remote desktop connection. Click on it. And then once you're on this, you want to expand show options. Now you're gonna click on experience. Now once you're on this, make sure that you have reconnect if the connection is dropped, enabled. You want to enable this right here. You want to tick this box and then click on connect. This should now fix your problem. If that's still not working, then for the next method, you wanna head over to search and type in view advanced system settings. Click on it. And then once you're on this, you wanna click on the remote tab. Now you wanna select allow remote connections to this computer. You wanna tick this box right here and then click on okay. This should not fix your problem. For the last method, you wanna head over to search and type in edit group policy. Click on it. And then once you're on this, on the left hand side, you wanna look under computer configuration. You want to expand admin templates. And now you want to expand Windows components. Now we're going to expand Remote Desktop Services. We're going to scroll down to we find Remote Desktop Services. Here it is. You want to expand this. Now you want to expand Remote Desktop Session Host. I want to make this a bit bigger. We're going to expand Remote Desktop Session Host. And now you want to click on Security. And now this will appear on the right side. And then once you're on this, you want to find require use of specific security layer for remote RDP connections. This one right here, double click on it. And then once this comes up, you want to click on enable. Make sure that you have the security layer on RDP. So enabled and RDP right here, and then click on OK. Now you just want to restart your computer, and then this should not fix your problem.